Hi guys, welcome to Cramble. Today we're going to have a bit. Blah, blah, blah. Hi guys, welcome to Cramble. Today we're going to be having a little bit of a play with celeriac. Now, there's so many different things you can do with this. There's recipes already on Cramble.com. I'm going to do a celeriac remoulade. So we're going to peel it up, get it finely sliced, mix it with some beautiful aioli and some mustard. It goes perfect with charcuterie, but also it goes amazing on a good barbecue. So with a long knife, top and tail it. So just take the top off and the bottom off. So it's nice and clear like that. And then you want to use your knife and you want to work it round. So all the way round. Getting all that rough outer skin off. Use all the knife. That way you get it all the way around. Then if we lift it up in a second, yeah, there's a couple of bits on there. So you just want to take those little pieces off. So you want to cut it into quarters now once it's peeled. Half and then into half again, each one. This makes quite a lot, so I'll probably just do one lot. So then get your mandolin out and flat side on there should fit perfectly. And then in we go. So it needs to be a bit thicker than that. So I'm just going to adjust the thickness. Be very careful when you're using this, always use the guard. As you can see, I'm not a fan of taking my own advice. And then just up and down, slide it, chop it into nice long slices. So we're gonna dress this with a nice garlic aioli and some lemon juice and some mustard. So the trick is to get the slices thin enough so that the acidity kind of cooks them. And that's as far as I dare to go on there, but that's kind of daring. Right, so now we need to get this sliced super fine. Organize it into a pile as you've sliced it, and then sort of slide it along the board like you're dealing out a pack of cards. And then you want to slice it. So if you're right-handed, you're going to go obviously from the right, your left, and then we start slicing. So just use your finger as a guide, and you can see that it's not sort of curtailing up at the end. There you go, really nice and fine. That's what they call julienne. Okay, so once we've got our celeriac to that stage, nice and finely sliced, we want to go in with some lovely aioli. Again, just add a small amount, because you can always add, but you can never take away. So you just want to give that a stir. And you don't want loads, you just want it to come together. Now I'm going to season with a little bit of celery salt and a pinch of normal salt. And then we're going to go in with some whole grain mustard, it's like two teaspoonfuls for this amount and what that'll give you is that lovely pop of that mustard seed when you start to eat this. I'm just going to have a little taste, see where we are with that. Okay, it's good but it needs some acidity. So lemon juice and then squeeze lemon juice in there. And that, lem that lemon juice will start to break down that celeriac and make it a lot softer. Perfect. That's absolutely perfect. So there's our celeriac remoulade done. Amazing with charcuterie. Awesome, plonked on the table at a barbecue with grilled meat. It's absolutely delicious. Find the recipe on cramble.com.